150-year-old technology is about to change forever. And I'm talking about the old-fashioned circuit breakers that you all have in your fuse box and which you find everywhere where electricity is being used. For the first time ever, we have made this into a digital, fully solid-state circuit breaker. My name is Charlotte Holmquist. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I'm a mom to three great kids, and I'm also the chairman and co-founder of Blixt. So in essence, our solid-state circuit breaker is a combined smart meter, remote control, and breaker, all in one small device that fits in all fuse boxes around the world. We collect real-time data. We can do mega sampling. We can control all devices in a building, not only on and off, but modulating from zero to 100%. That's controlling the power just like a water tap. It's now possible. And we are safer. We can break at least 1,000 times quicker than a traditional fuse. So the sky is the limit, and companies around the world are reaching out. We are currently planning pilots with some leading European utilities, and they need this for to get beyond the smart meter and really get in control of the grid edge to balance demand and supply, to handle all the volatile renewables and the loads from electric vehicles. We are also building our first test rigs, and car test rigs are beasts. They contain thousands of mechanical relays. Each one of them needs to be manually programmed for one test. With the Blix Breaker, we can run all testing in front of computer. Eventually, even virtual testing without needing the physical hardware. One more example. Inside the car, I mean, the potential is huge. A conventional car, electric or not, contains up to 1.5 kilometers of cables and about 5,000 fuses. So by installing the Blix breaker directly in the engine control unit, we can reduce fuses, wiring, and weight significantly. Each of those markets are worth billions of dollars. So maybe that's the explanation why the current incumbents don't really like our disruption. I must tell you, we got a full-page article about us in The Economist. And being a young company, we are so proud. I also want to make two announcements today. First, we got our seed round recently, 2 million euros from Bavaria Energy Ventures as lead investor. And finally, we have opened up for sign-ups of our dev kits because we want to let the global development community and the corporates to fully explore this potential. I'm convinced the future will not be mechanical for another couple of hundred years. The future is digital. So please, sign up and get your test kit today. Uh, thank you for the presentation. That was uh, good. Um, one question, well, two questions, in fact. Are you replacing uh, current uh, solutions? And if you are replacing them, what is the change uh, or the, the integration that you need to do to make that work in some of those applications that you just mentioned? You're referring to replacing the traditional circuit breakers completely? Yes. Yes. Uh, we completely replace them, so we don't need, like, first with mechanical break and on top of that, ours. So it's a complete replacement. Uh, of course, you need electrician to do that replacement. We are still working in the fuse box. Can you talk a little bit about your pricing strategy and how that compares to the existing solutions? The what strategy? Your pricing. Oh, the pricing strategy to make it really affordable. I mean, this is also a topic of uh, definitions. So we have a smart meter, remote control, and breaker, all three in one. Uh, we want to compete with the breaking price points. So that's a significant difference. But to make that, we need to make it down to system on a chip. So for us now, we are working on a PCB, printed circuit board. The next step is to take it down to a chip to make it at disruptive price levels, and then we compete with the mechanical breakers. More questions? Who is the alternative to you? Sorry? Who is your competitor? Uh, is one other company in the world that are doing solid-state circuit breakers, a US-based company. They have targeted the industrial, so their equipment is very much like this. It costs quite a lot, so it's not a residential product at all. The current players, um, you know, all the OEMs producing 31 billion euros market, uh, eventually 
they will not be the leading players in a couple of years. It will be other companies like ours. Also want to mention that we are filed a lot of patents, uh, both applied patents, public patents, and now we have granted patents. So we are doing an licensing business model. So I think the traditional OEMs will license this from us. Questions? <laughs> Uh, ju just more on the pricing again. So, um, w which industry is a different pricing for different of those industries that you that you showed? And, and uh, of course, now uh, it's been very. I, th I thought the question was about the circuit breaker price points. Uh, I mean, taking it to a chip, you can still use it for. We got a question uh, last night about maritime and vessels. They have 3,000 kilometers of cables and loads, loads of fuses and circuit breakers. Uh, I mean. It depends on which application you include this in, but that's really up to the OEM to set that pricing because they own the application, we own the IP design. Well, we are trying to figure out how big is the opportunity and what is, what is the problem. So in the maritime, for example, or pick, pick one of the industries, some examples maybe? Uh, I mean, as you see, I don't know if I showed it, now I cannot flip back, but each of the target markets, I mean, only circuit breaking market is $31 billion. And that is spot on what we are targeting. Then we have the application layer for, for example, test equipment. That's worth $50 billion as, as well. So, it's, I mean, it's, it's really huge. We are early stage, so we don't want to set exactly our business model now. Our business model is licensing, but the price points is far too early. We are doing the pre-study for the chip project. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.